and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. The biggest names in music. Oh, wow. Big names. Big songs. Big guests. Big prizes. Well, it's a big show. Oh, 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 okay. The Big Show. Put your hands together. Glenn, Angel, FG, and Sean. That's what I'm talking about! 1FM 91.3. Good times, greatest hits. One, two, three. Welcome to The Big Show! And today's guest is Adrian Chu, CEO and founder at KoreaAgility.org. Welcome to Happy at Work Thursday! Yay. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Singapore. Good morning to all our listeners as well. Good morning, Adrian. How are you doing today? Fantastic. It's been a long week, but hey, it's almost Friday, right? It is. Almost hey, and Friday. good news too. Uh, the last quarter results, nice that the economy's gone up a bit, which is good news for everybody, I'm sure. Yeah, correct. And I'm also told that uh, officially the job numbers are looking good. Mm-hmm. And on the ground, a lot of our clients are landing jobs and uh, the job market is opening up as well. So it's really exciting. Uh, it's a good It's a good move away from last year's doldrums so this is uh, generally a very positive sign okay so with with employment going up then then obviously people are going to be hired uh they're going to be going for job interviews obviously what are they what are what are hiring managers going to be looking out for during that interview process how, how do people respond uh, it, it is true. Uh, the, 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 a lot of our clients are going through a lot of lots of interviews now. In fact, we've been doing running a lot of interview uh, training workshops as well. We for today because it, it's a huge topic, interview training. But uh, I wanted to just filter down uh, in down to the essence. The top three things that uh, a hiring manager will be looking for. Mm. Okay, uh, we can talk about all the other bits uh, later on. But but the most important thing, uh, the, the most the, one of the three most important things would be number one. Can this guy do the job or can this lady do the job? What's your ability to do the job? Because you're being hired to render a service. Mm-hmm. And if you cannot render the service well enough to the level which they want, they obviously will not hire you. Mm-hmm. And it's not just about you rendering the service. Uh, can you do the job? Yeah, I can do the job. But how well can you do the job? Yeah. So you need to be able to show expertise. You must be able to show competence uh, compared to the next candidate who's also interviewing for the job yeah but even that is not accurate right it's just words what i mean you yeah, know that is true yeah I mean, yeah how, how would the employer know right is, there's so many bullshit artists out there <laughs> 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 that is true and uh, compound to that that uh, we asians uh singaporeans especially we sometimes are not very used to selling ourselves as well right as mm, we say in yeah. previous episodes so so therefore there's a disadvantage but but that's why you need to go very prepared for the interview you have to show them that you are able to do the job you're able to do it well and uh, for, for instance, uh, you have to show proof. Like what you say, everyone, talk is cheap, right? In fact, talk is free. I, I can tell you I can do this, I can do that. But, you know, you want to bring to the table, oh, for instance, in my, pre- in my current job or in my previous role, I did this, I achieved that. And, oh, you might have heard of that big deal that I closed uh, in the industry. Mm. So you want to show solid proof rather than saying that I could do that. Mm. But yeah, okay. Uh, you also said that um, during the interview process, you got to see that the person interviewing for the job has to be able to also do the job. But that also goes down to applying for the correct job as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> some people, true. some people just throw stuff against yeah. the wall and see what sticks, right? Right. Because uh, the job market is so terrible, or right. you know, they can't get a job. Now, sometimes employers are stupid. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, they'll hire they'll hire people with a proven track record and and not use them in the For proper way. For that particular way, yeah. yes. Right? Yes, I agree. Right? So yeah. I say hire people with a proven track record and put them where they belong. In, yeah. In, yes. in, in yes. whichever position. But yes. as I said, some employees are stupid. But. Anyway, let's play your song right now from Suede, The Beautiful Ones. We are still live on TheBigShow.TV. This is what happens off the air. So, yeah. Good morning, Singapore. Yeah, I think that is a big that is a big feeling right. with, with with many employers. I'm going to hire this man because he's got a great reputation. He's developed a reputation with this company, uh, and I, I'm sure he can do this. No, it's like it's like okay, yeah. this guy is different. proven. He's an amazing human resource manager. Mm. Yeah, let's hire him. 
Yeah. But he's going to be head of sales. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has happened. Yeah. It has happened. And, and they explain it backwards by saying, oh, if he knows human resource, he'll know how to handle the sales team. So it's an good. example. It's an can, extreme example. Can you but. explain that, Adrian, like why people would do that? Is that cutting costs so that people can do both jobs or is that just pure ignorance yeah. and for lack of a better word stupidity have you heard of things like that happening uh, well we've seen people we've seen some companies do that maybe not so extreme as in sales to mm-hmm. uh, hr to sales uh but what what i've always seen sometimes uh, which which unfortunately sets the new individual up for failure is over promising you now well we've hired a superstar salesperson he's gonna turn our company around our sales numbers and the poor guy coming on board is like what are you promising <laughs> that I can change the world? You yeah, know, and then you put so much pressure stressed. on the person, right? And then, and then uh, we, we've all seen that happen. And mm. then, then uh, he gets nervous. You no, know, so much expectations upon him, and, uh, and then he gets he, he just uh, stumbles and doesn't succeed. Mm. So sometimes it, ju- it does happen that way, and uh, it, it's unfortunate. So that, that's why employers have to be bosses have to be very wise in terms of deploying the right people for the right job and letting them do their job like you know i have these always saying why why do you want to micromanage someone whom you hire to do the job for you right exactly Mm -hmm. exactly Mm -hmm. there's there's absolutely no need for it um so so if, if you can convince the 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 interviewer that you have the ability what else is he going to look for then the in fact, it's not just the ability to do a particular job well. It's also, you need to find out what ability that they're looking for. Mm. What, what skills? For instance, if they're looking for a salesperson and you're going interviewing for a sales job, it's not just about selling. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry. It's not just about selling. It's, it's about, sometimes maybe it's for their challenge is that they're not able to handle the flow of customers because there's so many customers coming in. They, they have problems in pipeline management. So you want to exhibit that I've, I've been in a situation before where uh, I've had 400 customers clamoring for my product and I'm able to manage the, the supply, for instance. Or maybe the company is not doing well and they can't get any clients in. Then they need a cold calling. They need a really hardcore hunter salesperson. Then, then you, want to sh- you want to exhibit competencies in that particular space as well. Mm. Uh, so, so it's no point if they're looking for, uh, for someone to ramp up sales and you go there and say, because the sales are zero, and you want you go there and say, "Oh, I can handle huge vo- sales volumes," and they're going like, uh, "No, this is not the guy." So it's not just enough to show the competency in the particular skill set they are, uh, that that you think you're good at. You need to see what they want because you're rendering a service to them. Mm-hmm. I think if you're a salesperson, you should be able to sell anything. Yeah, I don't want to hear a salesperson come to tell me. Let's say if I'm the big the boss, boss, la, the boss, okay, I don't want a salesperson coming up to me and saying, "I can't sell this." Yeah. If you tell me I can't sell it, then you're, not, you're out. Me- yeah, you're not meant to be okay, here. Because everything you have to sell, you need to know, solve. right? Yeah, you need to problem solve and find out about the product. But right? this, this goes back to something Adrian has spoken about earlier in our series as well. When you go for an interview, you have got to research the company you're going yes. to be interviewed by. Due diligence, yes. Mm. You have to do that yes. so that you do not end up in that situation where I can't sell this. Yeah, because yep. as much as the employer is interviewing you, you are also going to be kind of interviewing the the employer yes. before you go so we are mm. correct right absolutely and even if you can't find all the information you can just ask you know what's your biggest yes. challenge yeah mm. what's your biggest challenge where where did uh, if this is a replacement role where did the previous person fail mm. Mm. right you know where was he not up to the mark and then you can find out from there and then therefore yeah. you you have uh, you can address the issue at hand well, but people are so afraid of yeah. asking questions, though. They're not going to no, sit there and go, so imagine. how how can I help you? And what's your biggest problem? I'm here to solve it. No, Do you but, know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, it's funny. This this should be general in your life. I use it as an MC as well. I go into a meeting, right? And one of the first questions I ask was, is, so who was your MC last year? But were you doing that at the beginning of your career? Probably not, right? I mean, master of always ceremonies. Done master. Yeah, master, master of ceremonies. Just in case, yeah. just in case you don't know. Uh, you know, who was your MC last year? What did they do? What did you like? What didn't you like? Why aren't they here now? <laughs> and then you, yeah, then, exactly you right. <laughs> then you set yourself up to present yourself as an MC. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. it's important. So, you, it, it, these so are practices you I, use throughout I, I, I your don't, life. I don't ask that though. <laughs> I, well, do. I, I feel that if they've hired me, they know what I'm about. They've seen my work and they're confident that I can get on stage and pull off what they want me to pull off. 
You know what I mean? I yeah. feel that if I I go in and I ask, okay, who was your previous one? And it says, for example, Glenn. And I'll be like, oh, why didn't you like him? Then I'll make an effort to try not to do the stuff that he did, which makes mm. me not be able to do the job that I was hired for because I was hired for being me. Yep. Do wow. you know what I mean? That's I, how I, I ask those questions. Sorry, AJ. I ask those questions yeah. only because I want to find out what these people like and how they think. Because mm. that and makes my life pitching. easier. And sometimes you're pitching for the business. You don't really have it yet. So they, they want to hear your pitch. Yeah, and they pitching, want to pitch. yes. Pitching, yeah. 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 But yeah. Not, not so much so on, on the when, when you get in. So uh, FD is talking about uh, the, the pitching Earlier stage. On. Yeah. 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 Earlier yeah. on, yeah. 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 Sometimes but once you, once you got it, then you... They they yeah. they don't know that there are different types of MCs. Well, just you know, like not just, all, they want you to tell a joke MCs when you can't. Yeah. yeah, just like people don't know there are different types of salespeople. Yeah, that yes. is true. there are. What do you mean? What do you mean different types of salespeople? <laughs> you can tell. You I can mean, I'm like. interested. <laughs> <laughs> it's one or the other. What, what well, do you mean different? At least, at least got a point. Let me let me highlight it. So okay. a lot of times people think sales minute, is just pure sales. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. But sales. That what's the difference between sales, business development? Account management, see, and, and these are all different different aspects, aspects of sales, of sales. as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay, which is true. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, which is true. They're different things, different types of people. So. so, account management is just managing an account that you already have, correct? Keeping yes. the existing, keeping existing, the existing accounts, yeah. There. Keeping them happy. Keeping yeah. them happy. Mm. So that's mm. a different kind of pitch. Yeah. Business development hunter. would be getting new business. Getting new businesses. New business, uh, which you may not already be in. Mm. Yeah, new ideas, okay. new ideas. Right? Mm. Okay. And then sales could be the person who just pushes the products which Executes you already have. It. Yeah. So yeah. sales so, would come yeah. after the business development has reached out to those people. Yeah. Correct. So what okay. you're saying is a team effort. Is that what you're saying? It could be a team, but uh, sometimes the the. Oops, I think we like okay. Yeah. We we'll go back and then we can. You've been this shown the red car. <laughs> For very long, no by me. Club Nouveau, lean on me right here on 1FM's Big Show. We are live on TheBigShow.tv with Adrian Chu. And of course, we're live on the radio as well. Thank you so much for, for listening to us, tuning in and enjoying the show. It is Happy at Work Thursday with Adrian Chu, the CEO and founder at CareerAgility.org. We're talking about sales and hiring salespeople and trying to figure out uh, whether or not it's a team effort because you have your account manager, you have your business development people and you have your salespeople. Is that correct, Adrian? Is that what we're saying? Yeah, so, so if team you need to know what not? you're applying for. So you need to know what your job you're applying for. For mm. instance, sometimes it may be advertised as sales, but you need mm. to find out whether it's it's really it, it, what aspect of the sales is it. Oh, so right. you know there there is uh, sometimes uh, as I was saying earlier off air, there is uh, what's the difference between sales, mm-hmm. exact sales manager, a business development manager, and an account manager, for instance. So you know the sales manager is the guy who goes out takes orders for the existing products, existing services. And then there is the business development guy who goes out and tries to look for new business ideas, you know, new relationships. Uh, could be new new clients or existing clients who need new products. You see, mm. what, what can I design for you? What can we build? What can we partner with other suppliers to help you? Right. And then there's the account manager who basically doesn't do hardcore, knock on door, cold call sales, but he just manages the current accounts just to make sure that the customers are happy. They're happy. And mm. I guess it's an easy, if you break it down, it's very easy to remember. I mean, I remember when, uh, like before I knew all these terms, way back, not just today, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, account manager was like someone who did accounts. Yeah, you manage know, before, the accounts. Before right? I knew terms. But he would have not. to be an accountant, probably. Uh, he would have to be. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. But very good at numbers. La. Not really, also. No. Relationships. No. More it's relationships. So an account manager yeah. means that I've got, I've, got five, I've got five clients, five of my biggest clients. They're my major accounts. Yeah. Oh, I see. I yeah, see. as in those accounts. I yeah. I, that's okay. what I thought. Accounting. You right, know, I thought right. accounting. Yeah. But I guess so the easy way to remember is. Sorry, sorry, Adrian, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, so you're saying the easy way to remember is? Managing an account. Yeah, managing, account. managing so, a current account that you already yeah. have. So, so the, the account managers, it's and, and it's a different skill set to use because uh, it's and some account managers will never want to do sales mm. because mm. they don't like knocking on doors, cold calls. Mm. You know, some some business development people uh, really enjoy the relationships, but you know they don't like selling uh, as in hardcore selling. What what more can you buy? What more do you want? So uh, it it's, depends on where on the spectrum you sit and you enjoy doing and you're good at. So who's the person who is out there okay. hardcore selling? Uh, I think the that's sales. the sales guys. Sales. Sales people. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so 
So those are the people I'm referring to. Yeah, I think you that's know, a great tip that you've given that people going for interviews need to know which aspect of sales they're going for because a lot of people will just think, I'm going to go knock on a door and do cold sales. What if you go into an interview and the uh, thing is for sales and you ask which aspect of sales and the boss say you have to do everything? Ah. Then... If yeah. you're comfortable with it, then do everything, lah. But, but uh, it's 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 a good learning experience, okay. Especially if you're early in your career to see what you like, what you don't like, what you can learn mm. as well. But uh, if it's really about cold calling, then then if he says everything, uh, and Sean, that's a really good that's a very good point. You sh- you should ask so what what sort of percentages are they are we looking at? Okay. Are we looking at 90, 80, 60, 70 percent cold calling? I'm not good at that. Mm-hmm. You see, uh, I'm more, uh, more. Uh, uh, th- there's a very colloquial term is uh, whether you're a hunter or a farmer. <laughs> yeah. A hunter hunts for new accounts. A farmer just sits there and you no, know, he does feel like me. I'm, I'm also a farmer with my garden outside, right? So, <laughs> yes. so, so you just ask: Is it more hunting or more farming? If it's more hunting, I'm not the person probably for it. If mm. it's more farming, then yeah, maybe I'm the I'm the person for it. So. You can ask yeah. percentages. Yeah. And I guess also it depends on how big that company is and how many how many accounts you're going to have to manage or or gain for the company, right? You can't be yeah, doing everything true. for like a massive company. Yeah, that's true. So if you look at a company like FDs, I mean your your guys do everything, right? Uh <laughs> yeah, actually they they develop business, they manage accounts, they do sales, yes. they they are they are all in ones, which mm. is why I have so much respect mm. for them. Because I'll be honest, I love coming up with ideas. Yep. Uh, I don't mind presenting, I, I, and I, I hate selling it. Mm. 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 I, I will leave that because I feel that is very specialized. That so, the, the the thing about sales is, and why I say it's very specialized, and why uh, interviewers have got to find a way of discovering this is, the whole pitch is easy. It's the close. Mm. That's the art form, the close. Are you good at closing? No. Okay. No, I don't think so. I think you are. <laughs> no. I, well, I may be good yeah. at it, but I don't you just, like just it. You just sold us that point perfectly. Right? No, yeah, but I, 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 I'm no, convinced. No, no but the, the thing is, I, 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 maybe I can do it, but I don't like doing it. Mm. So mm. I would rather leave it to someone who enjoys doing it. Mm. No one enjoys doing these things. Oh, I, I got a you have to go out there and sell at all costs. No? I, I got I got a couple of people who it's enjoy. It's not easy course. being yeah. A, yeah. a salesperson yeah. like it's that. It's not. It's no, not. it's not. It's not. Yeah, but I say it again. You know, if you're a salesperson like that and you have to sell, then you have to sell at all costs. Yeah. If not, yeah. you're you're ineffective. That is true. You know what that I mean? That is true. Yeah. yeah. You gotta I sell mean, not to be to rude. I have the utmost utmost respect for for salespeople. It's not it's not an it's easy job. Tough. It's not for everyone. Yeah. But if you're a salesperson at that level, you have to sell at all costs. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Cannot be a hunter that cannot hunt, right? That yeah. is true. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Don't bring yeah. any food home. <laughs> yeah. All right. True, true. Up next, three doors down. This is here without you. We'll continue this conversation off the air live on thebigshow.tv. Good morning. So, Adrian, as we talk about all these different things when it comes to sales, even interviewing, right? Uh, you would look for different things depending on what what the role is, which means attitude plays a part. Uh, general. Chemistry plays a part, does it? Yeah, it does. It does uh, no, right? no, like, it, like it or not, uh, there is uh, first impressions do count. Uh, mm. uh, you know, whether I like the guy, you can you can find a person who is supremely qualified to do the job. You know, mm. if you don't like him, you're mm. not going to hire him. Mm. I mean, we, we've been there before, right? Mm-hmm. And and it's it's uh, sometimes you know it, it, that's why we call this the "Do I like him?" test. And what's if, that if test? You, do I like him? I mean, just a blink and after a few minutes you know, with the person in the room, you're like, do I like him? I mean, I, uh, I yeah. don't like him. You know, there's, there's this vibe sometimes you just can't, as Sean would say, you can't vibe with the guy in the first <laughs> couple of minutes. So, you know, it's like, uh, I don't think so. It, it's just, it's just your, your Malcolm Gladwell calls it your blink. Blink. And you know, unfortunately, do you uh, any Marvel fans here? Do you watch yeah. Falcon and yeah. uh, yes? Winter, 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 yeah, you know, you know, date, so don't spoil yeah, anything. just the first episode. No, I no spoilers, no spoilers. spoilers. Okay, but <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, you know the new Captain America. Yes, right? yeah. yes. Yeah. You see his face, right? Yeah, you're like, gonna punch his face. Exactly. Right? You don't like him straight away, right? <laughs> exactly. You don't like him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, that's, so, that, that's been my point for the longest time. You know, certain sometimes, right? It, the moment you look at someone, 
you know if this person <laughs> is 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 for you or or, or not. You know. But then yeah. that was, I mean, I I I'm guilty of that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, if I don't like we someone's face. face or if if I don't like someone's attitude, yeah. I think within the first 15-30 yeah. seconds, I make my mind up. But it's almost yeah. politically incorrect to it say something like that, right? Incorrect, yes. You know, it's, so so people don't say. It's human nature. It. Yeah, it's, it's human, human nature. nature. Exactly. But I agree. The moment. You know the first the first five seconds when they when they showed the new Captain America, so he didn't even say anything. You saw his face, and you were like, "What? That's the new Captain America?" <laughs> <laughs> right? Correct. Yeah. Like, then then right. then Adrian, what about the saying? You don't have to like the person you're working with; just get the job done. Mm-hmm. The colleagues That's, or as a boss. Either way, you don't have to like them; just get the job done. You're there to, to you're paid to do a job. You're just not get there the to job. make friends. I'm not That's there to make friends. Say, yeah. Wow. I think if if the person's really in the job in a the company, then yeah, I guess. But you know, at the entry at at, at the door, you know, then uh, there's when you're interviewing three or four different people mm. with the different competencies, mm. uh, unless that person has such a important and rare skill that only he can do it, mm. and you're held hostage or ransom by his supreme ability to to do it well, mm. then then you have to hire him and and yeah. grit your teeth and bear. I want to ask you a question. You know, Adrian. bosses must be charismatic. You know what I mean? Yeah. If if you have that charisma, you have an edge. Okay. Yeah, I, but not you all agree? bosses have great no, personality. Exactly, this is what I mean. Yeah. This no, is what I mean. Know. The most successful mm. bosses are, out yeah. there. are charismatic. charismatic. Mm. Yes, I mm. agree, I agree. But here's the thing, Adrian, and I know there are people listening to us now and we're talking about attitude, we're talking about chemistry, and they are at a roadblock. They go, how? Give me a tip. How do I develop that chemistry with the interviewer? Hmm. Do you mm, have sleep any way? with the interview or what else? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I tell you honestly. Before the interview. It's the casting couch. No, I tell you, I tell you honestly, I tell you honestly, if you all go back and you read read books in the 70s, that was a big thing. The casting yeah. couch? Sure. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, we are live on Facebook. On Facebook. 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 Yeah. It was a big thing. <laughs> That's like show not only TV. getting jobs, but getting promotions. It happened. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. and it Stand still up. happens today. Yes. Yeah. It still happens. Sad to say, it still happens today. But I want, what I wanted Luckily, to say... I'm a guy. <laughs> What, what's wrong? Why? Why I can't? I will sleep that. with everybody. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's volunteering. So, right. Adrian, tips, tips on chemistry. Any way, uh, well, I anything think, you can tell them. Uh, well, uh, okay, N- number one is uh, very simple. Uh, smile more. Okay, <laughs> smile more. You know, Say hello. Uh, nod your head. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a body language thing. Mm. Okay. So you know, you smile more. You nod your head when the person's talking to you. You nod your head. The body language. You you lean forward in interest. Mm. I mean, can you imagine you go for an interview and you're leaning backwards like? Yeah, looking at something else, exactly. right? Uh, and and it's it's not good. So your body language counts. You know, firm handshake, in, even right down to dressing up properly and respectfully at the first interview. Eye contact. Eye contact I is important. Eye contact is very important. Also, yeah. yeah, but the and, handshake. Uh, I think I think people need to be taught how to shake hands. So the yeah. amount so of times I've had dead firm, fish, a firm fist bump. The, the, yeah, days. there you go. Yeah, oh, a firm, a firm fist bump, fist bump yeah. and, and a good handshake. Now you can't shake hands, right? But yeah. I think eye contact as well. But um, we're talking about chemistry and stuff like that. There are just some people that that that. Maybe the job that they're applying for doesn't need them to communicate with a lot of people. So will chemistry come into play? Like, say someone who who does computer programming. They're sitting at their desk in a cubicle <laughs> or whatever, you know, and all they need to do is stare at the computer. Yeah. And then you don't need to. They, they don't <laughs> need to communicate with anyone else. So does that? How does that come into play? I think uh, if if it's really that technical uh, skills that are needed, then probably maybe not so important. But you know, if you have, if you're competing, remember that at an interview you're competing against two or three or maybe even ten other computer programmers. Mm. Who may or may not be as as uh, or better than you even okay mm. and and if you come across as unlikable, mm. the bosses gonna they have a choice still they will gravitate to, towards to, yeah. the yeah the, the other faced ones mm. unless you're really the supreme uh, expert in 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 uh, coding or hacking or whatever it is you see if you're mm. uh, then then maybe you have an edge and you and, and they will reluctantly hire you because of your skill but mm. they're going to warn everyone this guy is tough to work with mm. then it's not really a good start so the whole idea is is uh be be nice uh be uh, smile more okay uh, but but also you have to be authentic and, and genuine as well if mm. uh, that, that's why 
uh, it, it'll be <laughs> don't go into don't go into interview grouchy I guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I think one tip yeah. also is smell nice please put some deodorant on Sex Panther thank you <laughs> <laughs> use my perfume Sex Panther yeah you his should, cologne his, his cologne yeah mm-hmm. he walked in on that first day I was like <gasps> but yeah Actually, I don't remember should, the smell you should market of, it uh, very sandalwood or uh, sorry not the yeah, smell the scent the scent yeah, yeah. Cedarwood, scent. sandalwood and amber okay yeah. bring it in tomorrow I think finish. Let me check it. Oh, you've done. You're done. I'm going on Friday to get another one. Yeah, so. What Tomorrow. do you do? Bathe in it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really use a lot. <laughs> but but that's this uh, another interesting thing uh, is also you know but but if the interview is conducted over Zoom, how do you handshake, right? I was about to say just now. I mean, are we talking about in person or on True. Zoom? Because yeah, if not, it's like okay, here's my. I have. I, I know. I know. This is. I know. This is Adrian's time. But I have a tip when it comes to Zoom. If you want to uh, sit for an interview, is switch your own camera off, and only leave your interviewer's face on. Okay. So you're not seen fixing your hair, looking at yourself. Right. Your, own view, of, your, your, your own camera. view, not your own view. No, no, your own view, not your yeah. own camera. Your own view. So you're not distracted. You're by yourself. not distracted yeah. by yourself, and look into the camera, not mm. at the interviewer when you're speaking, mm. right? Because you've got eye contact there, mm. right? True. Do you know what I mean? No, that's a great, that's a great tip, Angel. But, yeah. but it's not easy for uh, a training. normal person. Uh, it, it thinks it requires a lot of training to talk into the camera like this. Okay, yeah. but yeah. So what do you yeah. say about switching your own camera uh, view off? Uh, I think it's a good idea, or maybe just minimize it really small. Because you never know uh, if your camera get cuts off or or if yeah. the camera falls, so you just want to oh, see it roughly. But yeah. but you're right. You know the, the the focus should be on the person you're speaking with. The employer. Yeah. Right? I like to monitor yeah. myself, la. That's why. Yes, we know. We know that. We know that. Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 we know yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. You need to minimize your view. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you making eyes at yourself? I know. That's why. <laughs> because because I because he knows. You know, I'm I'm looking at myself. I'm like he knows what I'm going to bring up next. No, no, no. Glenn is sitting there going, oh, who's that good looking guy? I, I know. Guy, he's looking there going, like, oh, it's me. Hang on. Yeah, let me fix yeah. my hair. That, that was a good question. <laughs> His screen is only himself, actually. All right? of us are not even there. <laughs> the spotlight is It's not even a screen. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. <laughs> yeah. You reckon? You reckon? Nobody can see me looking at myself. Of course I mean. <laughs> yeah, Adrian, I'm sure. when we come back, I want to talk about something regarding these online interviews that came out of the UK. All right. Here we okay, go. stand traffic, by. One uh? FM ninety one point three traffic. All right. Let's see what's happening on the roads. We have the PIE towards Tuas. An accident after Thompson Road exit congestion is to Topayo. PIE towards Tuas. An accident uh, before Toguan Road exit. Avoid lane five. Uh, PIE towards Changi, a vehicle broken down after uh, Paya Labor Road. So these are all areas that will slow you down this morning. Please stay within the speed limit. Have everyone buckled up. Be safe as you drive today. Good morning, world. You know why? I'm going to start, start saying world. Because the whole world has yes. access to our show. Yes, especially they do. if you've uh, downloaded our SPH radio app. Mm-hmm. It is audio. That's A W E D I O. If you haven't already done it, do it right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, we go up to twenty nine different countries. Yes. Oh wow! wow. The only wow. countries we are banned in because of our content. Oh, it's so yes. Because you know, yes. I mean, we are so controversial. Uh, we, we, you can't get us if you're in Iran. You in, can't get us if you're Syria. in Syria. Yeah. Where else? North, North, North Korea. North, North Korea. Korea. <laughs> North Korea is banned us. Cuba. 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 Yeah, but you know, oh, yeah. come Cuba. on. Nobody Cuba. can get nothing in North Korea anyway. <laughs> they don't say that. <laughs> don't lie. They, they were hanging to your car. No, yeah. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> they're, okay. they're watching you. Okay. But the rest of the world, yep. They are watching and they are listening. Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. <laughs> okay, so Adrian, here's the thing. A report out of the UK has just said that uh, 42% of companies have said that even after the pandemic, they are going to continue to interview people online because they find it easier to fizzle out the ones they don't want because of untidy backgrounds, uh, because of cats and dogs that walk across the screen when they're being interviewed, because of people standing up without realizing it, and suddenly you're in your boxer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And also, and it's very interesting because you've mastered the use of this, virtual backgrounds. Because when you move too much, your head flows in and out of the background. <laughs> do it now, do it now, it, Adrian. No, I can't tell. Now. Look at Adrian. You see, Adrian's so good it's at fantastic. it. It's fantastic. This know. is my Stevie Wonder. Uh. That's, <laughs> so that's a real plan behind you, right? Of course it is. 
Uh, so, yeah. so what's your take on this, Adrian, uh, when it comes to 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 online interviews? Okay, uh, the first pro tip about virtual backgrounds is you're right. Uh, if you it it tends to your outline of your head tends to blend to the back. It's a bit distracting. Uh, the trick to it is get lighting. Okay. Ah. So I have my I have my circle lighting here. Once it once it's more better defined, it's it's better. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So a good camera, a good uh, lighting uh, helps a lot. Okay. But um, I think I think okay, satirist purpose. All else being equal, yeah, there are some zoom etiquette things you need to, you need to uh, settle down before you go into a, a zoom interview. Okay. One one of the biggest tips as I say is lighting is one. It's very critical. The other thing is uh, it's it's a good mic. Mm. As I always say, it's a good mic. One one of the things is that, that the audio isn't good, especially if you use a Bluetooth a headset and uh, earphones. Maybe a high end one, but a lot of times it just sounds across very bad. And and the other guy and the interviewer is training to listen to you. But but as far as etiquette is concerned, uh, you, you're right. You have to be if your virtual background is off. You have to be mindful of what's hanging in the back. Mm. Uh, I I once uh, uh, sat through a rather distracting interview with a with a, with a a, a client uh, who had uh, whose laundry was in the back. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, what's yeah, hanging her, her in the laundry back? Was, her laundry was in the back. It was really distracting. <laughs> was it lingerie or drying? <laughs> I was gonna say hanging in the back, right? <laughs> no, like, terrible. It was just laundry, I, I, laundry. laundry includes laundry, laundry. laundry. I know, but, I know. But, laundry. but I, I refuse to. I refuse to uh, 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 mention anything about what sort of laundry it was. But it was distracting. <laughs> so there you go. See, there was a brazier. I I think so. A few brazier. Okay. Uh, a few brazier's. <laughs> yeah. So so you have to you have to watch out over what's what's uh, in in the background. Even even in the in the bedroom, and then a messy bed as well. So like empty. Yeah saying right it's, it's it's what does it say yeah mm, mm. Okay. also don't wear the same color as your background because <laughs> you'll yes. just be ahead yes. Yes. Yeah. you'll be mm. ahead yes you'll blend in yeah, yeah. you'll blend in quite bad mm. um and uh, i would say you know look look into the camera uh, be confident smile more uh, lean forward your body language is important especially on on the camera so you know lean, lean forward lean to the mic and one one pro tip is that if you want to con very energy okay uh, do the zoom call standing up yes mm. yeah. Oh. yeah because when you're moving you're more dynamic there's more energy to it rather than sitting down and slumping just don't jump yeah. around right <laughs> don't jump around that's too much, why i yeah. tell everybody before our family meeting i tell everybody to make sure they sit up Except yourself. This is why you're lying, lying on the couch. <laughs> lying on the couch. But I've got I've got a couple of uh, ideas. <laughs> like some people may not uh, be able to get a, a a light in time, right? So stand by a window. Uh, Natural lighting. Yeah. If you don't want to use a virtual background and you don't have a plain wall in the back, you can always use a bed sheet and hang it up behind you or a blanket or whatever it is but make sure it's like plain behind you to cause that that one color background so you don't see the mess in the back because not everyone will be able to get a light or not everyone has a, plan, a plain wall or whatever it is behind them okay when we come back we're, we're gonna go back on i uh, know we're gonna yes go, we're going to go, go back, back on go back on here oh no we're going back on facebook um now when we go back on facebook i've got one more tip that not only i am guilty of but Glenn is guilty of oh, hey, no, well. what, what, what? what is he guilty of? What is this? What is this? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Live on thebigshow.tv. That's our Facebook page, by the way. All right, we're with Adrian Chu from koreaagility.org. Up next, Celine Dion, the only artist in the whole world who can actually sing. Because <laughs> that's the way it is on 1FM 91.3. So here's the thing. The one thing that Glenn and I are both guilty of, uh, I'm only just becoming a little more conscious of it, and a lot of people don't realize they do this, and this is why standing up for an interview is really important. Many people have their camera too low, <laughs> and when you look at them, all you see is a view up their nostrils. That is what? true. Yeah. Where? It's perfect now. No, not now. <laughs> no, like no, no, you have no, your no. Phone. Here we set up for you. So this huh? is particularly <laughs> so if you are on a mobile phone. Mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> People forget to hold it no, up. No, no. Actually, to be fair, you know, I've always known that. You see, the reason why ah. I expose my nostrils yes, to you guys nostrils, yes. most of the time, yes. Yes. okay, <laughs> is because I want, uh, you know, Bernard, who conducts the meetings, yes. right? 
to uh, end it as quickly as possible. Uh. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, if he is looking up my nostril, right? And I mean, he, he's such a nice guy. He doesn't tell us what to do or what to, you know, say yeah. or how to sit and all that. Yeah. If I disgust him enough, mm-hmm. the meeting will be over in 10 minutes. <laughs> like, okay, everybody, but, bye. Glenn, stay back. But, <laughs> but, but he's so, We need to talk to you. But he's so nice, it never works. The meeting goes on for one half bloody hours. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> But that is one thing I will advise all of you to do because no one wants to see the inside of your nostrils. Yeah, I, I really. get I get that happens because someone is out yeah, most of the time, most you know, time. and you're say you're sitting at, down at a table. But if you're sitting down at a table, you can always hold it further away yes. from you so your whole face is actually seen. Because yeah. it will get very tiring if you hold your phone up yeah. all the time. But I, I right? tell you, I tell you, Angel, you know what annoys me the most when it comes to Zoom users tell when me. when they use a phone and they're not. They're, they're using it and it's and they're holding it and it's unstable like this. Look, right. at, look at you. Uh, are you like, moving? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. It's like, and, and, it's like, you know, it's like you're giving me a headache. Exactly. You're me a exactly. Mind, you know. Put Unsteady it down. Unsteady hands. Put it down. Yes. Unsteady hands. Yeah. Put it down. You know, talk. talk and, and another, another tip use, is use that use girdle. You, girdle. Girdle. I don't yeah, think yeah, it's you know that gimbal. Oh, I mean gimbal. Uh, gimbal. Sorry. Girdle. Yeah, a gimbal. Oh, yeah. that's pocket. Why am I thinking of girdle? But, all, but it was the oh, underwear laundry. speed. Oh. It was the laundry. Yeah. <laughs> but also, another tip is landscape mode. Nobody <laughs> likes portrait yeah. mode, especially on yeah. video it's chats. Annoying. Yeah. And if you're doing, right? a, yeah. Yeah. doing an interview as well, landscape mode. Flip your phone. Yeah. Okay. Easier said than done, right? Why? I keep on reminding myself, you know, this whole landscape Yours thing. Yours is always in portrait. When I go out and I'm videoing things, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't video it in portrait. Yeah, video it, it in landscape. landscape. <laughs> Sean always tells us that. But we always do portrait. We portrait, do, yeah. Always, yeah. always. The phones are designed that way anyway. La. So, they are. Yeah, they are. They are. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's, a, that's, that's very, true. very true. And uh, one, 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 more, one more pro tip is... Uh, If you are on using Zoom, uh, Zoom has a beauty face and sometimes they have this function where you can actually put on lipstick a bit more and, and I can even do the eyebrow thing, you know. Yeah. That's yeah, what you see. Uh, what? Angel is on Zoom. All of us are on Google <laughs> Me, but only she is on Zoom. Man, special. So you can. So yeah, just just use use Zoom. Uh, use Zoom. Uh, it does it does uh, help uh, a little bit, but uh, just don't overdo the yeah, special say, effects. Yeah, don't uh, yeah, just don't overdo the special effects. But I think uh, I mean, I, I, if it's absolutely necessary, do it. But if not, don't. Because if you walk into the office, they'll be like, "Who? <laughs> yeah, that's not the person I hired." Exactly. <laughs> You can't you know, walk around with a filter on your face. Yeah, it's don't like, don't overdo it. That's all. Yeah. Right, Sean. I mean, you experience things like that on your <laughs> Bumble and Tinder. And, yeah, it's uh, called catfishing. It's okay. called what? Catfishing. catfishing. Catfishing is when you uh, put up a false identity. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, let's say your your online dating app picture is like, wow, damn hot. Like, you Ooh. know, everything is done, and not just makeup, makeup, but like, you look like a totally different person. But it is oh. them, right? It's not a different picture. Can be they... them, can be a different person. Doesn't well. Tinder and all that use like verification with videos yeah, it's and online, stuff? Online, everything online can oh, be really? manipulated. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Don't everything needs boss. to be verified. Everything. Yeah, that's yeah. how I bumble. Right. Uh, just to let everybody know, Victor has come on our Facebook page and said, Angel doesn't need no special oh, effects. Wow. You should see me in real life, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> She's kept fishing. <laughs> see, that, that's what I meant just now, actually. Did I? What? No, I meant it in a nice yes, way yes. when I said, you know, you're yes, only yes, you. Yes, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, I got it. Maybe no, Victor all... thinks I'm insulting oh, no. Angel. No, no, no. He's trying to compliment her. He's compl- yes. Yeah, I know he's trying to compliment her, but... More okay, compliments. Bring, yeah. bring him on. Okay. <laughs> bring him <it> on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Okay, any other questions? Because now's the time. Uh, now's the time, you know. Now's, 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 now's the time. Right. Now's, now's the time for you, good 1FM uh, fans, to ask our expert a couple of questions. Got yeah, one because very... now he's not charging you. <laughs> Wiley has got a very interesting comment. Now, this is going into detail. My own preference is to do what I call a mirror. So, however the interviewer is framed, I frame myself as well. So if the interviewer is head, then mm. Wiley will be head. If the interviewer is head and shoulders, then Wiley will be head and shoulders. It's Just like, don't copy your interviewer's movements. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's yeah. like start wow. scratching your head. <laughs> he, says, he says he feels he connects better that way. Yeah, but mm. your angles are very, very important. Yeah. I mean, one thing you should never do is get too close to the camera. Yeah. yeah. So that yes. never works. Even if it means you have to sit away like that. Yes. Ah, this works better. Yes. Yeah. Like when they can't see you? This works better. When they close their eyes. This works better than this, no? 
all the way up. Yeah. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yeah. That's that's the yeah, one. Yeah. That's how we see you every Friday. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the nostril <laughs> shot. That's, that's, that's a nostril <laughs> shot. <laughs> now you guys know it's the bird. <laughs> Uh, very very interesting. Any other questions? No. Uh, they are, but we are getting questions on on uh, how to display uh, uh, an ability to fit into an organization. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a bit tough, right? Sometimes uh, you need to find out what exactly their culture is as well. You know, uh, one of the things that the hiring manager, the third thing the hiring manager actually looks for is uh, will this guy fit in, and whether the team members will like him. Mm. Or in a worst case scenario, is what uh, I like to call organ rejection. You mm. know, sometimes you, when, you, when it's an organ transplant, you bring in then the body just all the cells just attack it and oh just too bad yeah. the kidney yeah. has to go. Yeah. Mm. So sometimes uh, I've seen before individuals who have been brought into the organization, but because his culture is so different from the rest, that they just uh, basically ignore him and kill him. Uh, I mean, just he just dies natural death. He gets exited. So, uh, how how do you manage that, right? So, one of the important things is is uh, you got to find out the organization values. What what are the values? So, at the interview, you can ask them, uh, or you can just observe what their values are, mm. and uh, you know, even the simplest thing like work life balance, for instance. But but as I I say this with huge dose of caution, you know, at the interview, never ask a question. What's your work life balance? Because uh, it's it's always off more often than not. It's taken the wrong way. Yeah. As an interviewer, By the interviewer, don't as an interviewee. As, as an interviewee, interviewee if you're going right. for interview, you know yeah. uh, you can mean it in the best of way. What's the work-life balance here? The interviewer has the propensity to misunderstand. Think, what well, you mean? You want you're looking for work-life balance? You're going to run off at five every exactly. day. Right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. But that's common so that's sense, a, like, You know, I mean, uh, for for someone who who actually asks that question, that person deserves not to get the job. Quite frankly, <laughs> you know, I mean, if you're applying for a job, for example, I mean, if let's say I'm applying for a sales position and you are interviewing me right now, you know. What? We're going oh, sorry, traffic it's now. traffic traffic yes. time. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alrighty, SLE towards the CTE in accident after Woodlands Avenue 12 exit congestion to Woodlands Avenue 2. PIE towards Tuas an accident after Thompson Road. Congestion is to Topayo exit. Uh, PIE towards Tuas, another accident before Toguan Road exit. That uh, avoid lane 5 there. And on the PIE towards Changi, a vehicle broken down after Paya Labor Road. Please stay within the speed limit. Have everyone buckled up. Be safe as you drive today. Day. Good morning, Singapore. It's Glenn Angel, FD, and Sean with Adrian Chu, CEO and founder of CareerAgility.org, or rather at CareerAgility.org. Um, sorry about the delay just now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> FD was asking like another question. No, yeah. we just <laughs> want to keep you quiet. <laughs> no, no, no. It was it me? you. It was no, you. Nobody yeah. will know yeah. unless no, they were right. watching, you they know, were watching The Big Show. They, they only watched The Big they Show. Yeah, I say it was FD. <laughs> Okay, I have nothing else to say now. What? Oh, good. You're finally keeping quiet then. No, because the, the, whatever, I want, whatever I wanted to say to Adrian just now, that was only for the for big show. Dot TV. Yes. I cannot ask him that question. Uh, Mark? On air. Anything? Yes, yeah. I just want to. I, I, I just want to confirm this with, yeah, with this Adrian was what as, he was as, as we as now. we close off. We we've talked about many things. We've talked about uh, uh, your ability to do the job, chemistry, attitude. We've talked about being able to fit in, but I think. If I walk away with one thing from this is if you're going for an interview, know the company you're going to. I think that is one of the biggest assets you can have is to know the company you're going to. Am I right in saying that, Adrian? Exactly right. Yeah. Uh, always remember the interview is actually a sales pitch. Can you imagine I, I take up your timer? Uh, I, I, I take up. Have this time, mm. and I say, uh, "Can I meet you for an hour? I want to pitch you my business." And I walk into your room at the pitch itself, and I say, "I have no idea what you guys do." <laughs> yeah, you can just throw me out. No, you've taken I've you've taken out one hour of your time mm. to listen to me pitch my business to you, and mm. and I don't know anything. No, it's, you're gonna throw me out. So that's why yeah. the interview is actually a sales pitch, <clears throat> and that's why you have to go very prepared with uh, with knowledge of the role, the company, and knowledge of yourself. Yep. And that's how you land a job. And, and I want to put another caveat on this, is that the more senior you are, the fewer the opportunities you have uh, at, at interviews. I mean, that's just the way the pyramid, the triangle mm -hmm. goes, right? The more senior you are, the fewer roles there are. So you have to make each interview count. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And that's yeah. why you have to get, get do your homework. You know, you get help. Uh, that's why our clients come to us for training uh, yeah. because they know that they only have like two or three roles that uh, they really, really want and you got to make each interview count. So right. uh, just be mindful, do your homework and get everything, all your ducks in a row. Right. And, after, your chances. and after you do all that, just before you, you, you know, switch on your, or rather the camera and, mm. and, and, and you're being interviewed. Before the interview, the ultimate thing that you should do is pray for favor and pray for wisdom. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Amen. Do it. If that's what you do, do it. Yeah. Pray your cat doesn't yeah, jump baby. on top of your computer. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that as well. That as well. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Adrian, for joining us today. Always a pleasure. Have a great weekend ahead and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. You too. You too, you too Adrian. Mate. Thank you. Oh, okay. 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 Bye. Flies. It feels yeah. like Adrian was here on the show yesterday. It's 8.45 now. We've know, been chatting for 45 minutes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So um, um, Sean Chua is uh, coming in in just a little while. He, of course, is a finalist uh, on uh, Asia's Got Talent. I believe it was like season one or season two. I can't remember. Wow. Maybe we should ask him that later. Yeah, we should. Because someone should. was asking me the other day, which season was Sean on? I said, season one, of course. Yeah, we just I, didn't want, I, I didn't want to not be able we to say, say anything. anything yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I think we better check later. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Are we okay. live on Facebook now or live on air? Air. air? Oh my God, we're live on air. <laughs> okay, here's Maroon 5 with Animals on 1FM 91.3. Once again, Animals describing... Well, uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Liverpool fans. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, okay. I, I'll say this now. I said it on air just now. I'll say he it again said, here. Yeah, I'm just... um, I am horrendously dis- disappointed in the Liverpool fans for having stoned the Real Madrid bus. Mm. Uh, I don't care what the reasons are. Even if in, in their Spanish press they had said something about Liverpool, you have always got to be the better person. It's a terrible thing. Stoning behavior. a bus mm. not yes. only gives Liverpool a bad name, which we already have and we're trying to fight, but it mm. also gives Stones. all of English football mm. a bad name. And that is not a good thing. It's yes. archaic behavior. It's horrible. It's you know, it's horrible. Manchester United fans try so hard to make up for the uncivilized fans. Okay, okay. This is you not know, a challenge. Okay, this is not, not put, a challenge. Okay, no, let's no, not put that one out there. Say Adrian is Sean Chua is in the house. Good morning. Good morning. Asia's Got Talent uh, finalist season one. <laughs> Look at the background. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yes, <laughs> that's nice. Yes. Yeah. He, got, he got paid a visit as well. Yep. Very nice one. Very nice. David. Yes. Big thank you to David. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, so Sean, we wanted to find out exactly which season were you on. Uh, first, the very first. The very See, first ah, correct. Okay. So yeah. Glenn was right. I knew it. No, there weren't, there, so there, were, there weren't number. many seasons, were there? Don't no. say that. No. I think there was only one no. season, right? No. no. Uh, three, three. three. I think oh, there three, three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Sorry. But after you left, we didn't watch already. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the only right, one right. that counted. See, yeah. so there was only one season. I think I'm the Thank only you. one who watched Sean. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I mean, so Sean. <laughs> yes. What are we up to today? Okay, um, I, I've been doing a few things for you guys, so sometimes I may forget if I've done something before. So just check with you guys. Have, 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 have we done this yet? No. No, no. no we haven't. No. Right. Okay, my, let's do it now. My mother tried when I was a baby, but my have... father said no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll do it now. Okay. Okay. And we're done. done. What's that, guys? All right. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> I'm looking at that scissors and, and this name comes to mind. John Wayne Bobbitt. Bobbitt. <laughs> oh, John yeah, Bobbitt. yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's try something else then. I am, I'm going to put you guys down over here again. Okay. We're going to do something with uh, a few coins. Okay. So let me just bring this down. Okay. Down, 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 down. down, down. down. Yeah, you okay, got it. Got nice. There you go. Okay. Yes. Yes. See. See okay. Is that oh, a, oh, is that oh, a, oh, hang on, oh, oh, oh. hang on. It happens oh. sometimes, you know. If I if I move my camera a little bit, yeah, it, yeah, it I get goes, this as well. Disconnects. Yeah, it does go. Up. Let's see. Technical hmm. difficulties. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh no worries. Okay. Unplug, plug. Now you see him. Now you don't. <laughs> that was a oh, real yeah. magician. Yeah. Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> Unplug. <laughs> yeah, we live on air. Live on uh, no, Facebook. Facebook. Wow. Facebook. Facebook. Just double check. Just double check. We're on Facebook. So we're waiting to we're waiting for for Sean to figure out his mic, his <laughs> camera. camera. Okay. Okay. camera. Okay. Ah. Oh Ooh, yes. Oh, hello. Something's oh, wow. happening. Oh, Something Eli. is oh, happening. That? Something happened. Yeah. Some, was, uh, something. Yeah. Okay. Yes. We've got the logo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that and... says no camera. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Come on, camera. I know you're okay. on. I can see you. I think you got to do what I do. You know, I <laughs> unplug it and plug it back in. That's again what he's trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Okay. Tell you what, give me a... Hang on, guys. Camera close his eyes. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's gone to sleep. Sleepy. Should I match him and make myself disappear as well? Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go sleep go, as well. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh. Uh, GoPro no, no, no. is on. Oh, okay, the GoPro uh, webcam is on. And the segment is brought to you by GoPro. <laughs> you can get your GoPro at Paris Silk. <laughs> okay, guys, give me a... Yeah, yeah. Go. but unfortunately, this isn't the angle I want to show you. Uh-oh. So, give me a sec. We're going to fix this, okay? No worries. You Hold cannot up. bring the coins up. I see dead. <laughs> well, I see, levitate, dead, levitate. I see dead people in the you corner. You do. Who are those oh, people? Oh, 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 I see a hand there. <laughs> yeah, those are guys that you don't want to see every day. Ah, I think we're getting it back. We are getting it back. Once again, you can get your GoPro at Parasil. <laughs> there we go. There we go. One dollar. Okay, so the thing is, uh, we're going to do something uh, hopefully a bit big because it's going to involve money. Yay, all right. Yeah, but we're not going to use the Singapore coins because Singapore coins are not as big as this. This is an American coin. All right, is that Lincoln? Right. No, that's Kennedy. 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 So Kennedy. what they call these? They call these the uh, half dollars. Yeah. Mm. Fifty cent half dollar, right? But uh, they cost me. You know, sometimes when I used to do this live, people would say, "Hey, can I keep this as a souvenir?" I said, "No," because even though it was, it's only worth fifty cents, they cost me five dollars each. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So no souvenirs, unfortunately. So okay. anyway, uh, I got to thinking about how you know these days currency and everything is going digital, right? Just like what we are doing now. So in the past, okay, I've got three coins, right? Now, in the past, if I wanted to uh, transfer some money to someone, I would have to, I would have to physically mm-hmm. go over, right, and hand yeah. in the money. Yeah. But these days, you can do transfers almost like magic. Watch three. I just want to transfer one. One is gone. Huh? Huh? Transferred over. Whoa! Damn. Yeah. I will do that again, even though nobody asked. <laughs> <laughs> can you do it again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Since Glenn asked, all right? Okay. Three. Okay. One, two, three. You okay. can see that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All good. This time I take two. All right. Mm-hmm. Transfer. One. Wow. Huh? Wow. wow. Okay. That's good. That's, okay. good. that's good. That's good. That's good. Now, now, um, but of course, some people are uh, skeptical about digital currency and digital uh, transfers, you know, because of security. So they don't have to worry because there's always such a thing as a firewall. So this is kind of like my firewall, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can transfer the money safely through the wall. So that's three over there. Yeah. Okay. I take up one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's see if we can transfer this over here. Oh, so there are four coins yeah. now? No, three. No, three, three. 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 Uh, you took oh, one. Wow. Oh, it's still three. Wow, the firewall yeah. uses. <laughs> yep, exactly. Okay, but the thing is, uh, these days we also use uh, virtual wallets, right? Yes. And I've got a really cool virtual wallet I want to show you guys. Hopefully, you know, if people like it on air here, then it might become like a patent for me, you know? So mm. spread it, spread it. Okay, my career patent. Let me see. All I have to do is I can make big money just by taking a picture. See, if I take a picture of this coin, Right there. And if I want to make big money, I just... Big money to zoom in. But you can also kind of like check how much money is in your balance, okay? I had the Bitcoin. Now that's my Bitcoin. Oh, hey. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right. Hey. And the beauty of this wallet is it allows you to draw cash. Oh, wow. cute. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow, what phone was so, that? Yeah, what phone gives me money as well? So we've got a big coin. I mean, the American coins are big. Okay, we had a bigger coin here, but hey, this is the big show, man. The we gotta go coin. really big. Yeah. Where did that come from? <laughs> That's what Glenn used to Wait, say. Wow. Make, make your money grow with Sean Chua. <laughs> yep. Hey, is that also a half dollar, but but a, a blown up half dollar? Yeah, I uh, ah. this for this I used uh, for this I didn't use a phone. I used like a giant camera wow. and I expanded it. Wow. <laughs> it's got chocolate inside. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! It's not chocolate. Oh, oh. It's not chocolate. You can hear. Oh, you can hear it's it. an coin. Holy yep. smokes! Wow. Wow. These are all real wow. pieces that'll of metal. They'll make a great coaster. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's just amazing. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done, Sean. Good, Good job, man. Big money for the big show. Sean, I want that big one. Can you buy me one from somewhere? <laughs> wherever you bought that from. I, I want uh, what are you talking? He didn't buy it. He made it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made it. It's Bye. just, a, it's just, okay, a, you know, we'll the phone and everything. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. He'll make you more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, wow. thank you so much, Thanks, Sean. Sean. No awesome. problem, Thanks, Sean. Always, all right. Um, so nice to have you uh, entertain us like this. You know, after, yeah, always my- after a hard session with Adrian. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> always my pleasure. Always my pleasure. I do enjoy listening to him too. Okay. Oh, yeah, fantastic. we all do. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you yes. so much, Sean. No we'll problem. See you next week. You can follow you Sean on Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah. You oh, can yeah, yeah, follow yeah. Sean at Sean V. Me. M- All right. Yes. On Instagram. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'll put a picture of this up here so you guys can see uh, on Instagram so you guys can see how big these coins really are. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks, Sean. Brilliant. All right. Thank you. Take care. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. I like nice Sean's hair. You Sean's like hair is different this week. Never mind. Because he's Angel's perm- playing with her phone trying to increase her money. Yes. Cannot. Only Sean can do it. <laughs> That's why. It's not working. It's you know, working. I think hey, Sean uses the same phone as you. No, I think. I, uh, I mean, same, I noticed he, he wasn't using a, a yeah. what do you call it? An Apple. That's for no, sure. No, all Android phones look the same though. What's your Android phone? Mine is an Oppo. You can get your Oppo from Parasol. Parasol, yeah. <laughs> See, it even tells you the time. <laughs> My phone also tells me the time. What's your phone? Uh, Huawei. Huawei. Huawei, I don't know whether they sell anywhere these days. Oh, no, they do. Also tells you the time? I They're still selling oh. the time. You can try to get your Huawei from Paris Silk as well. <laughs> what's what's, I'm sure well, you can. what's interesting about the, band, uh, the the Huawei brand is their new uh, notebooks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why? yeah they've got mm. uh, some very, very hardy, very good notebooks now. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and stuff. this message is brought to you by, by Paris Silk. Paris, Paris Silk, where you can get or, your or Huawei, Huawei or, or get GoPro. A, get the new Huawei. That, that sounds uh, he's got the watch oh, as well. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> also, it's get pretty good Huawei as well. Yes, yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, I use Samsung as well. Go and buy yourself a Samsung. Uh, and yourself? <laughs> Apple has enough money, right? Okay. Yeah, they <laughs> but they do sell Apple as well. They do. They sure, sure sure sell They sell everything. Everything. And the kitchen sink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very rich. Okay. All so right. Done? Are we done? We're done. Yeah. We're done. Okay. All right. What a session, huh? Mm. What I, a session. I've got to say, I, I found Adrian very, very, very entertaining today uh, and, and informative because I think a lot of people go into these these online interviews and they really don't know what they're doing. Mm. Mm. And it's it's really important. I Actually, it's your luck. Lah, I know. Days. I don't think so. You no. know what luck is mm. to me? What? Opportunity and preparation coming together. Yes. Oh. Actually, if you're a woman, no, just no. look pretty, no. unbutton no. a few, hey. you know. No. Hey. That's it. No, 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 you got no, no, the no, job. No, no. 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 Hey, no. have some respect. Angeli and myself are here. Yeah, no I know. Way. That's yeah, why I'm saying. No. Say no. what? No. That if you guys do an interview, y'all should do that? No. Never. I got my interview wearing a turtleneck and long pants, by the way. Good for you, Angel. There you go. Good for you. Okay. Covered All my right. face as well. Just a suggestion, <laughs> you know. I'm, no, I'm, don't you know, listen to Glenn. As always. Because, I mean, if I were a girl, I would do that. You know, actually, if That's I were true. a girl, I would be such a big slut. It would be unbelievable, oh, yeah. <laughs> actually. See, you know, I believe I know. that. I believe That's that. That's why God made me a man, you You'd know. Probably yeah. be because very cheap. Oh, You'd be, my yeah, God. You'd be very cheap. I'll be, very cheap. So yeah. I'll be sleeping cheap. my way all the way to the top. Oh, <laughs> oh, cheap, cheap. Same yeah. Cheap. You know, I'll be coming in my short shorts, all short skirt, everything will be short. You can still do your short shorts. Yeah. I hear you have nice short. legs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Once yeah. In a while, I'll I will just vouch for this. my legs once in a while. Glenn is very Sharon Stone. <laughs> Glenn has yeah. got among the best looking legs okay, I've ever seen. Okay, don't say that. Yeah, don't, you can't say things like don't this. Say, I don't want like, people looking at me <laughs> funny. They will, it's they true. will. See, yeah. he, as he crosses his legs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And things. then sometimes when I do Muay Thai, I wear my Muay Thai shorts. Oh. So on the way out, you know, someone will go, oh, those are short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> See? Wind blowing and everything. My legs right, as well. right. I hope you wear something under the Muay Thai shorts. Yeah, like briefs. Like tights or something? No, no tights? No tights. And huh? that's the thing, you know. I wear my briefs sometimes. You you know, my Calvin tights. Klein briefs, I've got like pink, la, grey. La. And there was one session, I was wearing my pink Briefs. Nice. So you know my Muay Thai shorts who are black. The, who calls the them briefs anymore? The moment I kung kung a bit, that's <laughs> it. You'll see the pink sticking out. Welcome to the show, guys. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Luckily, we're off air already. Off no, air. we've been on, on air the whole time. Are we, are we still? <laughs> no, but we're still live on, <laughs> on Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, yes, Facebook. <laughs> Why are we even having this conversation? Then? We well, don't know. Well, it's okay. North Korea won't What did this, it so. start with? Interviews. Okay, well, let me let me, let me me give you some of the comments. 
points we're getting. Glenn, exclamation mark, exclamation right? mark, exclamation <laughs> mark. Uh, from, uh, that was from uh, May Schooling, by the way. Oh, May. Uh, Auntie May. See? Auntie May. Auntie May, can you put him in his place and teach him Ask some him manners, please? Cross his legs back again. Dan Cole just goes, oh my God. Right? <laughs> all this I'll only say on the big show, uh, uh, dot TV. This is what That's we all, have huh? to deal with every day. I will deny Happy. all this. You know, it's on Facebook oh, forever, yeah. right? That's and right. then Ren <laughs> says, Ren says, Geo's got rocks. Oh no, sorry, Geo rocks. <laughs> <laughs> See, only Ren understands. <laughs> and Good remember morning, to Ren. keep sending your pictures in. We are on the SPH building. As you can see, someone just texted it in nice and big. You can't miss it if you're going down Brattle Road and also wow. at Bugis Village. So if you're not texting it, uh, WhatsApping it to us at 88550913, send it to us on our Instagram. You can see it across the screen. It's the big show dot TV. This is Woo-hoo. huge, man. This is huge. We it's have something like, to give, right? Yeah. At the end of the show? Yeah. An umbrella. The uh, latest 1FM umbrella. It's so nice. It's beautiful. Very, very I mean, nice. the old one was really long. Do we okay. have one here? But no. This, no. One. Yeah, this is a, a, a more compact a, a handbag uh, umbrella. One. Yeah. One, I think Everybody's going to want one. It's going to be... Yeah. Uh, I, I think very soon we're going to run out of these umbrellas. I think we, we are ready. We bought in limited supply. Oh, oh so it's okay. limited edition umbrellas. Ouch. There you go. All right. Okay. All okay. right. Please share the video. Bye. Have Bye-bye. a wonderful day. It's we love Friday you. tomorrow. This has been The Big Show. Go tell everyone about The Big Show. <laughs>